Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's time to take a look at the Clash of Wills Wolf of Unknown Origin fight. This is against Beowulf, the Machine, Beast, and Demon. Um, it is uh, also weak to Lightning, Fire, and Dark. Um, just a couple of things that we know about the fight um, that we learned from the like monthly bulletin and uh, previews and stuff like that. Um, it, the, the big concerns of this fight are a party accuracy reduction that the boss does. Um, he does imperil you quite a bit. Um, he puts up field effects on his side that buff his stats, mainly it's defense and spirit. Um, you have to hit it twice in a row with non-evocation fire or lightning damage. Um, I, think dark, I think dark works too, to seal it from breaking your own stats. Um, you could also just prevent breaking stats, but you know you want to deal elemental damage anyway. And he also hits you with a lot of status um, ailments. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the team that I used to... Um, the team and you know skill order that I use to, to do rank one and we'll talk a little bit about what else this boss you know deals with so that we can work that out um, here's the main gist of our strategy um, uh, the boss is going to heal about 10% of its t uh, health per turn every time it's under 50% so you know if, it, if you get it to 49% it's going to heal up to about 50, uh, 59% if you get it to about 39% it's going to heal back up to 49% every turn so that's a huge hassle. Um, if you don't have Melissa to like, you know, reduce the effect of its own healing, um, that can be a big deal. So that's where we're gonna not use Melissa here. Um, the boss is also going to lower our accuracy. Um, and if you have Nora, you can just ignore that because she has a huge accuracy buff for the party. Um, but without Nora, you can only reliably burst on turns five and eight. Um, so since we don't have Nora, uh, we're going to go ahead and burst on turns 5 and 8. Um, and then the morale bar skill is also going to help us burst again on turn 10 with Sylvie's help. Um, we're going to do a combination effect of um, Sylvie's skill and the morale bar on the final push just to make sure that we can get through. Um, but that means that turn 9 the boss is going to heal a little bit and we still do need to do a little bit of damage. We're going to do our best to try and push as hard as we can. Um, and that's the basic rundown of our strategy. Um, so um, here's our here's our kind of outline for what we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to start up by loading up our morale bar, bar and then bursting on turn five. Um, we're going to hold position after the as of the threshold. We're going to recover and prepare to burst again on turn eight, and then we're going to push as hard as we can on turn nine. Final push on turn ten, um, and so yeah, th this does work. I've, I've done it a couple of times. Um, it is really really tight. Variance is very you know very important. Um, as far as the damage, um, the damage cap, um, I have with this team reliably hit the damage cap every single time that I've tried it. Um, once I figured out the skill order, so it doesn't seem to be an issue of variance there. It's just the final phase of the fight because, like you know, if you don't push enough and then the boss heals too much, you know, you just might need to rerun that. But the good news is um, this this team and combination of units and skills is very very safe, um, and we uh, you know. I feel like it's a good setup. Um, I will say this too. This is a huge shout out to Horacio Montero 85. You can check out his content on the link right there. Um, he um, did this before I did with this team. I was already working on the same exact team, just kind of working out the skill orders. Um, he does things a little bit differently than I do, and, and I'll talk about some differences there as we go. Um, but we basically had the same idea, um, and it's it's it, it works just fine. So that's exciting. Um, I will say that Horatio's gearing is much more efficient than mine is, so I'm going to show you the gearing that he had set up, um, and then I'll talk about um, his actions, but definitely go check him out. He doesn't do a whole lot. Um, just because he's, you know, just trying to be helpful. Um, but he does put out, he's, he's put out several videos. Um, and I've talked about, about using his videos before as a, as a reference point and a guide for how I'm, how I kind of build. And we work together. Um, we talk a lot of strategy in the discord. He's a member of my discord. Um, and I'm a huge, um, huge fan of what he does. Um, so definitely check him out. Um, and, um, yeah, thanks so much, Horatio. You're the best. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and uh, get this out of here, and we'll take a look at my team um, and everything else. We'll go ahead and put all the mods on. We'll show the gear and everything with all the mods on. Come on. 350%. Very good. Um, and here is our team. So let me go ahead and put on the gear camera so we can see what we have going on. There we go. And we're going to start with um, Abigail. Um, first and foremost, she's geared with, you know, um, 
fire resist, lightning resistance, and dark resistance. Doesn't need uh, too much. You do want to take a little bit of damage so that she can counter as much as possible. Um, but here's her gear. She's our passive provoke unit. Um, and she's got a blizzard orb, you know, in before they nerf it. Um, but even if they do nerf it, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. She's still going to be able to counter five times a turn. And if you don't want just five only, just put on put on two blizzard orbs or put on blizzard orb and a black belt or blizzard orb and something else, you know, you, you know you've got options um yes her her tmr is very good for her um but still you know if, if you need the counters you need the counters so here she is um horatio used paladin cecil's armor here i do not have paladin cecil's armor so we're going with the fortified curus um and you know it has uh, very nicely elemental resistances to um fire light and dark or lightning and dark it is limited to Lucas, who is a, um, a holiday unit, but you know we've, he's been around for a long time, so hopefully a lot of players have him, especially if you pulled for any of the holiday units. Um, her abilities, she's got some um, some true true uh, true defense, true double hand spirit as well, um, and then um, priest and priestess's vengeance. This is from um, last season's um, cow rewards. This lets her counter with more morale, and then she's got lightning fast legend. Um, I know this is contentious because it is limited. Um, but we've had th multiple ways to get stuff that's similar. So you could have Lightning Fast Legend. You could also, if you don't have it, Claw of the Dragon uh, or Eye of the Dragon, whichever one it is, um, that gives you that um, extreme Nova frames. But even if you don't have it, you could also just, on a turn that you're free, use Esther to give her extreme Nova chaining frames. And that's going to allow her to chain with Esther on the turns when she needs to. She really only uses this one time in the fight. Um, so it's not a huge deal. You could also, um, for your burst turn instead, although I don't recommend it, you could um, set her up to chain with Dwayne um, using extreme or absolute mirror of equity from her from her skills. You do have to work in a light imperil for the boss though, um, so that you can actually do damage. So that would be that's that's a relevant thing. Um, but um, I prefer to do this. This allows us to build the chain first and then push really hard with the last three chainers. So this is good. Um, you know, theoretically, you could also give her Dwayne's sword, and then you could use Dwayne's sword's ability to do that. Um, okay, so we've got lots of ways you could get extreme Nova frames on there. Somehow you need to do it. Um, and then she's wearing Sylvie's vision card, just mainly for morale fill. Um, morale's kind of tight. Uh, we do get it by turn five reliably, um, but um, there you go. Abigail. Sylvie, um, she's wearing double batons. She's got a bunch of bulk. She's got the treasured memorial ring. Um, she's got morale fill from Galbana Lilies because it's HP recovery. Lots of that kind of stuff. So, you know, if you don't have Philosopher's Stone Seeker, something else that restores HP, um, and there you go. Uh, also wearing her own vision card. Very good. Um, and then basically the same build and shift form, um, except she has more Lilies because this only works on the first turn. So. Um, she spends the rest of the fight, mo most of the fight, in the shift form. Um, so we'll just go ahead and use Lily's on Lily's there. Same build, um, and Lil Sylvie does Sylvie things. So cool. Not our passive provoker, so we're not relying on her um, on her re-raise mechanic. Um, so that's important to note. Um, if you are struggling with that, um, go ahead and make her your passive provoker, um, and then you can use re-raise. Um, but um, you know we're using Abigail to get more counters. Esther, in the uh, base form. Um, is geared for as much damage as we can. So we've got true double hand, beast, demon, machine, LB damage. She's also got a source of chain cap increase. Um, and um, there you go. Um, and then she's got chain speed, bonus stats. If you don't have hateful agent, it's not the big, it's not a huge deal. She's not our main DPS. If you need room to put more killers on, hateful agent can be replaced. Um, if you don't have vortex of the past and hatred, you could also use. Um, uh, valued memories, but you don't get the um, you don't get the uh, true double hand from it. So that's worth noting. Um, this is also kind of replaceable if you um, if you don't have you know prodigious performer. We've got room to lose LB damage, but the chain speed is really nice. So that's that's why we have it. Um, and then she's wearing the blazing red flash vision card. Hopefully you picked it up. Um, if you don't have it, I would recommend giving her a source of extreme Nova here because we are going to need um, an extreme Nova that is not her LB on one of our turns. So claw of the dragon, uh, lightning fast legend, uh, something like that. Um, that way she can chain. I don't recommend giving her Dwayne's sword because it's one handed um, and that's going to be a problem. So yeah, extreme Nova frame somewhere in the build. 
and she's good to go. Shift form, she's wearing the Empress Rod. She starts in the shift form. Um, she's got LB fill um, and you know lots of LB fill, um, LB gauge fill rate boost, um, things like that. Because she needs to recharge her LB fill uh, or her LB gauge a lot to use her skills. Um, and there you go. She's not doing any tanking, so she does not want to be wearing her TMR or STMR. Um, but she is wearing lots of stuff that passively lets her fill morale. Okay. Very good. Um, Dwayne, not surprising here. Um, he's got double magic control rings. Yes. Um, and then he's got two weapons. Now, because he's wearing two weapons, he's wearing the Vilk Vision card, which is going to let him fill lots of morale with the Vilk card with two weapons. Very cool. His own TMR, his own STMR. Uh, a nice sword. Um, Horatio was using, instead of this one, the uh, Sword of Die, which I do not have. So there you have it. Um, Chainmail. Um, and then just killers. Um, he's also got his LB max because we are using his LB on a couple of turns. But we do um, you know, want to make sure we have everything we need. So there you go. Um, and he's an SLB. So Dwayne does Dwayne things. Um, Shizuru in the base form is wearing um, Ayaka's rod. This is again for morale fill. Morale fill. Um, I'll... All this stuff is geared around just giving us passive morale fill. She's got Tyva's spirit as well, um, and there you go. She's wearing Sylvie's vision or not Sylvie Esther's vision card for killers and LB damage and stuff like that. She's kind of the hardest one to gear in terms of her killers, but um, it's not too bad. Um, I did not have a second Rikard's helm. Um, Horatio used um, another one of Rikard's helms, um, and you put that there. But put whatever headgear you have that's really good. Riser's crown is not a requirement. Um, you know, the Dragoon, the Dragoon Helmet is, is just as good. Um, LB damage gloves, just attack. Um, this is not a requirement, just whatever you've got that's good. Um, her own Katana. Vortex again, Valued Memories, Demon Eater Sense. Battle Intelligence, coming in clutch um, for Demon and Machine. I had forgotten that this one gives Demon and Machine. This is good. Um, and then, like I said, her vision card is Esther's. So, Chizuru... Um, is a huge pain in this fight because she's a trance shifter. Um, and be, when you've when you've got a combination of having to burst on specific turns and a unit that's a trance shifter, it's a huge headache. Same thing with SLB units, um, which is where I was having some trouble figuring out the last phase of the fight. But with Horatio's help, we've got it narrowed down to what we're doing. So um, yeah, Chizuru. She's also got a skill that I had forgotten about. This is very cool. I had forgotten about this skill, dedicated samurai slash. It fills morale based on the number of players on the field. Um, so that's cool. Lots of morale fill from that. And it does damage based on morale. Um, and it does a defense break. So we've got it, it does a lot of nice things for us. And it boosts her stats attack for five turns. So very nice. Um, very nice skill. I had forgotten all about it. Um, and then 2B, um, we'll talk about her shift form first. Um, she's in the shift form, she's wearing her own katana um, and then just, you know, just gear for damage and LB. Um, she does have Tyvus Spirit. She does have Inherit Will. She does have all the killers, LB damage. She's got, she's kind of got everything she needs to be. Okay, so she's got pretty good stats here. Um, Inherit Will, of course, comes from A2. So hopefully you got both of them. If not, Hateful Agent, um, you know, is another option. Um, but she does have a little bit of trouble with getting Beast and Demon in her kit. So... Um, there you go. Her own, um, her own vision card. Shift form, or base form. More attack. Um, she's got all the same Clash of Will stuff. Um, she's got the, um, the big, the big stick katana. If you don't have it, give her her own. Um, and then all you need is strength. You know, if you don't have that, something else that gives 100%, you know, true double hand, you know, just get her, get her to where she needs to be. And then the killers. Um, and she does all the things that you would expect to be to do. She's our main machine killer buffer. Um, and then she's also um, doing just a bunch of damage. So um, Sylvie's our main demon buffer. Um, and then um, Beast is coming from Chizuru. So very good. Um, so that is the team. Um, we're going to go ahead and dive into it now. And I'm going to do a really quick pause here just in case. Um, and uh, if we have an issue with variants, we'll just come back to this point. All right, we're back and we're going to go ahead and dive into this. So let's turn the actions on so you can see what we're doing and we'll fight this boss. I've got a turn chart that I'm going to be running um, and putting in the comments as well. Um, so definitely check that out. All right, a lot of passive morale fill. Notice the, the, the little gauge just keeps getting smaller and smaller with all of our morale. 
to let all that finish. And now we started, you know, easily half of what the boss started with. So we're, we're in good shape. Um, we're going to start with um, Abigail. And she's going to do um, a contingent, her contingency plan skill. That's for morale fill. Um, and then, nope, not methodical. Sorry. Um, we're going to do contingency plan. And then both breaks for morale fill, breaks, and mitigations. There we go. Between that, we are now at half of what the boss, you know, we're, we're half of what was left. So we're going to use Sylvie to go the rest of the way. Petals, vines, and burgeoning defense. It's also going to put up mitigations and stuff for the party that we need. Thank you, Sylvie. Um, Chizuru is going to go do a little bit more. Um, one of the passive or one of the active actions you can do is buffing your accuracy, and that will um, uh, build morale. So she's going to use Strong Samurai Spirit, which buffs her accuracy. Uh, and also has morale fill also does stat buffs and things like that so that breezy barrier to get rid of imperils and then focused spirit for more mitigations and there we go um then we're gonna do a little bit of damage here very very little um esther's gonna use true storm brand to lightning imbue that way she can seal the boss Dwayne is also going to do fire imbue so he can seal the boss as well Use Blood Shield for morale generation and just a break and just tag chaining, whatever. Um, and then 2B is going to do the same thing. We're all kind of imbuing ourselves. Charge Volt, a Void for morale fill, the True Charge Spear for killers and morale generation. So we'll just kind of send them. Um, chaining doesn't really matter. We're not really doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, very good. 85% morale. We're working our way down. Enjoy these counters while they last. All right, very good. Now we'll go ahead and do something very similar here. We're gonna use um, we're gonna use the two breaks. I oh, know, sorry. We're gonna use um, we're gonna use cover break. Um, and then enemy data analysis. That's going to get rid of a stat buff that the enemy has and let us do a little bit of damage here. Um, not a ton because he does still have this field effect, but it is there. We're going to get rid of that. Also, it adds the boss to your registry so you can now see what the boss's stuff got. Okay, cool. Um, you can see here that you definitely want to focus on lightning if you can. It's its worst resistance. Okay, um, for, with Sylvie, we will go ahead and go the rest, you know, fill more morale with vines and petals. And then we're gonna put a very important stat break removal and stat break, break immunity um, and status immunity. So we're not gonna get hit with a bunch of nasty status effects now. All right, um, Esther is going to shatter bolt three times, which is bolting strike. Um, Shizuru is gonna beast killer right beast pulverizer which is bolting strike times three um and then 2b is going to just fill morale with spear again bolting strike times three um and Dwayne is going to use his base lb um that's going to put up sword and perils and just do some tag chaining we're hoping to get in the like 96 95 percent health range here on this turn um and we're just going to try and try and just kind of chain all that together Ninety five. I like it. 40% morale, we're doing great. See those vengeful morales? That came from Priest Vengeance and Priestess Vengeance. That was really cool. We got both of those that turn. Awesome. Now, um, on this turn, Horatio used um, Abigail's SLB. His Horatio is EX3, mine is not. So I'm going to go ahead and use my, or he used a shift L, or a super LB. I'm going to use my base LB instead. Um, this gear, this clear will not use her super limit burst until turn seven. So no matter what your EX level is, you're fine in terms of survival with this setup. Um, so there we go. We're going to go ahead and use that now. Now we are bursting on turn five, which means we need with Sylvie to get ready. So we're going to use um, her Marion's Blessing Lightning. Okay. And then we're just going to use um, Morale Fill, Cheerful Paladin Strike twice. It's kind of important to do that first. Notice how we're missing now. It's because our accuracy has been reduced. 
All right, um, Esther here is gonna to go to the base form, use her Bunny Bolt Blitz. Um, that is going to allow us to um, get um, to get the field effect out of the way. Um, and we're not gonna really do any damage here, it's okay. Dwayne is going to, and this might seem confusing, he's going to Oath of Daybreak again, um, and then Power Ravage twice. Um, that way he's gonna have Fire and Lightning, that's gonna let him take advantage of his big Fire Amplify. Um, on turn five, so you know, don't don't think I'm being weird. I thought it was weird first, um, but it's it works really well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and let him go first. He's gonna miss anyway, right? Esther's gonna get the field out of the way. There we go. And then Shizuru is gonna go ahead and shift here. That's gonna let her be in the shift form for three turns, and then go back to the base form on turn six. Um, and that's going to let us get ready to burst again on turn eight. So that's that's important. Um, we're going to use Dedicated Samurai Slash here, which is Triple Bolting Strike, which is going to chain nicely with the Shift Limit Burst of 2B. And we're going to try and chain them together and do a little bit of damage. We're probably going to be missing a lot of attacks here. Um, the boss does have our accuracy penalized, so we'll, you know, it's okay. We're going to do a little bit of damage, a little tiny bit, nothing big. Don't worry about it. I actually did pretty well, 88%, not bad at all. And we are now at 20% morale, so all of our skills are now active. Vengeful morale, got a little gain. Looking great. There we go. Come on, come on. Sylvie, all your passive stuff, okay. On this turn, turn four is relatively painful. Um, to help us survive it with Abigail, we're gonna use um, Cover, um, which is gonna push morale. We're gonna use Shelga, which is gonna put up more mitigations, and then we're gonna use Drone Type F. This is gonna remove the boss's stat buffs. So if you notice, the boss has stats. Removing the buffs makes them much more easy to survive this turn, as well as do more damage on turn five, which is our goal. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done first. Alrighty, Sylvie's gonna go ahead and use Leaping Love here. That's gonna put up stat buffs and LB mod buffs and things like that for the next turn. And we're gonna do that without without chaining. Dwayne is gonna use his big um, his big uh, arcane supplementation skill. Um, once again, do Oath of Daybreak just for fun, and then use Hellfire Infusion. Um, this is gonna you know buff him up with 150% amp next turn, so he'll have a combined 150 and 100. Um, meaning he'll be at a you know around 125% um, amplify, which is really nice. Um, it's going to help him a lot. Um, and uh, this is a difference from what I was doing my own clear. My own clear was using Dwayne's SLB here and then using um, his LB next turn, but that required a lot of effort to get him filled up, um, and it wasn't really working very well. So we're gonna we're gonna skip that. We're gonna go with Horatio's plan, which is to do this. So thank you, Horatio. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and let him go first as well. Now, Esther's not filled up and this, the field is back. So we're gonna have to get rid of that next turn um, with Esther's field again. So we need to fill her LB. She's gonna use um, Calm Before the Storm, Bolting Slice twice, which is Bolting Strikes. Chizuru is again going to use Dedicated Slash. And 2B is gonna use Tyva's Spirit. 2B's our main DPS in this fight. Um, so she's gonna have Tyva's Spirit here on this burst. Um, then Chizuru will have it on the next burst. Um, and it's gonna be great. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and use that first, Tyva's Spirit. And then we're gonna chain Chizuru and Esther now. Um, maybe do a little bit of damage, probably not. Um, but either way, L Esther's LB is gonna get filled and that's the important thing. Cool, morale pretty much filled, 0%, we're awesome. With all of our preparations, that turn is much more safe. And now we are fully powered up for this burst. Um, Sylvie is going to go ahead and buff us up. Once she's done <laughs> auto casting, she's going to do Poach Demon on 2B as our main DPS. And then two Clever Paladin Strikes. That's going to refresh the Sword in Peril for Dwayne. Um, and then just let everybody else do their thing. So there you go. Demon Killer in place. We are now ready. Um, Abigail is going to be chaining with Esther using Lightning Bolt Barrage. Esther's gonna use her LB. 
they are going to start our chain, which is going to push the field effect out of the way and then allow us to start building the chain. Dwayne is going to use Atonement and Absolution. Um, Chizuru is going to use her Shift LB and 2B is going to go to the base form and use her LB. Now the order is very important. Um, you know, we have to let the chain build here and push the field effect out of the way. You've got to wait for that to be gone and uh, Esther's field to be in place before you trigger your next skills. And then the order is 2B for the katana imperil, Chizuru for chaining, and Dwayne just weaving in and out of there. He's not extreme Nova, so he will weave in and out with these tag team chainers, um, but um, normally extreme Nova and absolute mirror of equity will not chain well together. Um, but the way we're doing it works just fine. So we're gonna send Abigail and Esther first and then build our chain. Here we go. Wait for the field to go away, send everybody else. And we did 2.7. That's about what I usually do. Um, you know, it's it's going pretty well. So now we're in phase two of, of the fight. Notice the boss did heal back up. He will not heal up um, unless we um, push him below 50% uh, again. So we're not going to do that. We're going to we're going to try and push a little bit but not too much. The most, the more we can, the better, but we don't want to go below 50. If we go below 50, he's going to heal up again. It's going to mess up our day and we don't really want that. Okay. So we're, let's go ahead and start um, with Abigail here and she's going to um, contingency plan to keep morale going, have mirage stacks, things like that. Go ahead and get our cover going again um, and then do shell go one more time for mitigations. Okay, because we're bursting again on turn eight, right? Six, seven, eight. We are going to use Sylvie again here to use Lightning Blessing one more time. Um, and we're also going to use Bolt Egg. Now, Bolt Egg is going to be in place for the last two turns. So we will still have Imbue because of Bolt Egg. Um, so that's good. And then just defense. It's going to break the boss. Um, and then it's also going to give us, you know, um, stacks and Mirage, boost our defenses, things like that. Um, that's going to help. Okay, um, Esther here is going to use True Storm Brand for the Imperil, um, Calm Before the Storm, and Bolting Slice for Chaining. Chizuru is back in the base form here, and she's going to reapply the Beast Killer, which is now going to be in place for the re remainder of the fight. And 2B is going to shift, do our Machine Killer, um, which is also going to be in place for the remainder of the fight. Um, and... Um, fill Morale. It, we, 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 you know, we're already at Morale, but, you know... Beast killer or machine killer is the important thing, and Dwayne is going to use his SLB. So just like, um, just like with Abigail, who's not using it until her next turn, Dwayne can be any EX level except for zero, um, and benefit from his SLB. Um, uh, it, it does not matter with this particular clear. So we're using it on turn six. There we go. And we're not going to do any damage here. <laughs> we have a uh, accuracy penalty, um, so we're probably not going to hit very hard. Uh, or do very much, but we are going to just try and, you know, chain these together um, and do what we can. Yeah, not even a single percent, so that's okay. Um, turn seven is usually pretty deadly, um, so we need to be careful. Um, I'll show you how we're going to prepare for that. Here's turn seven. Um, the way I'm doing it, um, I'm using my SLB from Abigail here. That's going to put up the huge mitigations and things like that and uh, get us ready to go. Um, Sylvie here is going to go ahead and um, poach Demon again on 2B um, and then Clever Strike twice to allow us to fill LB gauges. I'm going to do that after um, I use Abigail. All right. And we're going to go ahead and fill up because we are going to use um, uh, her shift LB here. I love the accuracy penalty. Um, we're going to type a spirit with Chizuru. We're going to base L or shift LB with 2B. Um, and then Dwayne is going to um, actually, we're going to hold off on Dwayne for just a second. Um, and we're going to use um, Esther to Bunny Bolt Blitz. Okay, that is to remove the field effect. So we're gonna remove the field effect first. Actually, 
you'll notice that the boss has attack and magic um, and really, really bad. We want to get rid of that. That's going to help us survive turn seven. Dwayne is just going to auto attack or main attack. There we go. Buff's gone. We're good. Um, Esther's going to get rid of the field. There we go. Chizuru is going to um, have a spirit. And then Tubi's going to use her, uh, her shift LB. Might do a little bit of damage here. Sometimes, maybe. A little bit of damage at the end, yeah. This is pretty normal for me. 58% is not bad. With all that mitigation, turn seven's pretty pretty safe there. And all those counters allowed us to refill LB gauges, so we're really good now. Okay. We are ready for our next big push here. So, um, there we go. Esther's going to use Blazing Red Flash here. Um, 2B is going to use her Shift LB, or her Base LB, sorry. Shizuru is going to Shift and use her Shift LB. Dwayne's finally going to get in the game with his, his Tag Team LB. And Sylvie is going to use Leaping Love here. Because we did all the buffs and stuff last turn. So Leaping Love, now we're now we got our mod boosts. Now, um... I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use Abigail's turn last, and I'll show you why. Um, but we're gonna use we're gonna use her to refill LB gauges here on the next uh, before the, the next push, um, and we're going to just send Esther in the back row pretty much all at the same time. Um, that way they can um, they can just do hopefully a nice big burst of damage here, um, and kind of do a push. So we'll do. I think we'll we'll do Esther two Beach Zero Dwayne, um, yeah. Eighteen percent, very very nice. So um, that's that, that that was a really good push. Um, Abigail here is going to refill LB gauges three times with Bar Phyragia. So um, you want to have as much MP on your Abigail as you can. It is an expensive skill. Um, but this is going to fill up LB gauges a lot. Almost hit the, the cap a second time. Lots of counters are going to happen here, though. There we go. Okay. Now, um, depending on what you need here, um, you might need to either do Abigail's turn first or last. Um, and in our case, we do need a little bit of LB fill. Um, so notice my 2B does not have an LB gauge here. Um, so we're going to need to refill her a little bit. And we're going to do that with, um, with Abigail. So we'll do... Um, we'll go ahead and do um, a Bar Phyragia one more time to fill LB. Um, and then we'll use Methodical Mitigation for her Omni Cover. Um, and then we will... Um, you can kind of do whatever. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and do Barfireja again. That's what I have written in my skills um, and my her turn order. You're either going to go first or last, um, depending on what you need. You know, depending on how many counters you got last turn. You know, Sylvie's not filled up. Tubi's not filled up. We kind of need it first. Um, it could be first or last. So we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Everybody's full. And we'll use Leaping Love again. Um, if you didn't want to do that, you could also skip Leaping Love. Leaping Love is still in effect from last turn. And you could um, use Clever Paladin Strike to refill LBs. You could do lots of things. Um, but we want to save our big buffs and stuff for our turn 10 burst because that's the biggest one. Uh, well, that's the biggest of the two. Turn 9 is going to be really bad damage. So um, I, I prefer to just use Leaping Love here. Or you could do whatever you need, you know. Um, Esther is going to give us a little bit of a, an accuracy buff. So Energizing Bunny will give some killers um, and then a 50% accuracy boost. Um, and um, that's a thing, you know. So we'll do that. Um, she'll also use her Magnus and Bolting Slice to keep the boss broken. 
All right, and you can kind of, you don't need, you're, she's not contributing to the chaining, so you can just kind of go ahead and use it. Dwayne is going to use his LB. Chizuru is going to use her LB. And Tubi is going to use her LB. All right, and because they all do the same frames, we're just going to go ahead and send them all about the same time. Again, the order is Tubi, Chizuru, and then Dwayne. Um, so, yeah, we're looking for good damage here. Thirteen percent, very nice. So the boss has twenty-three percent health because of that stupid healing. All right, get some counters going here. Okay. Now, depending on what you need here, um, you're either going to use three fire jaws, bar fire jaws, to to fill up LB. Or if you need more morale, you can use breaks. But the boss is broken for defense, so we don't really need breaks here. Um, you know, you could use your your anti magic, anti physical, whatever you need. Um, I'm going to use bar fire uh, by Raja. bar fire Raja, Oh my gosh, it's hard to say. Um, three times to fill LB gauges because Chizuru and Two B are really low. Um, I am going to be using S Sylvie here to to fill Two B, um, but Chizuru really needs it, um, and without it, she's going to be in bad shape. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, Ooh, we got it. Uh, it all depends on the number of counters you get, right? Um, Sylvie is going to um, poach Demon on 2B, um, and then she will use Paladin's Offense. This is a 100% um, accuracy buff. So um, that and the morale-based accuracy buff are going to put us over the cap of accuracy buffs um, because they stack, and um, we will be able to attack the boss offense and then i've got your back for a modifier buff um stat buff lb damage buff just all, all and it fills the lb gauge the rest of the way for 2b all right um esther is going to be using her lb um Dwayne is going to be using atonement chizuru is going to be tag chaining 2b is going to be tag chaining and before we do anything click on the bar and get infallible will online now we've got an accuracy buff that's going to keep us able to attack the boss. Um, defense and spirit, because why not? Um, you know, attack and magic, because why not? We got them. Um, it, would do, it would give you any final push for morale if you needed it. Um, and, um, you know, now now we're there. <laughs> you, you should be well at 0% boss morale right now. Um, and we're just, you know, because uh, Dwayne doesn't really chain, we already have the field up in place. Um, we're just going to kind of send everybody all about the same time. Um, and we're going to hopefully get that zero here um, and, and secure ourselves a win here on turn 10. Um, so let's 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 do it. Huh. I've seen this land on 1% a couple of times. Usually we're just fine, you know, so we did pretty nice burst there, 1.3, not bad. We'll take a look at the damage breakdown um, and uh, that is a perfect score. All right, perfect score, all categories. Um, so, you know, Esther, you know, not doing the most damage, but she does the field. You know, Esther's field has always been contentious because it's both sides. Um, finally, that's a good thing. Um, Dwayne here, um, not doing the most damage, um, but he is our leader skill, um, and that's good. Chizuru, still holding strong after almost a year of, ex uh, of existence. And uh, 2B um, is our, our huge carry here. Um, now she did get the big demon killer buffs every time she got the um, the, um, the I've got your back skill every time uh, when we had it um, you know so she and she's just got all of our good gear so we leaned really heavy into 2b and that's okay um, and um, yeah there's there's our spread so um, let's see what we get and ooh yeah for sure thank you I have not done my farming yet so um I'll be doing that here now that I've got rank one. Um, and that's it. So uh, again, you know, huge shout out to Horatio. Thank you so much for the uh, the tips and the team building and the, the theory crafting that we were doing. So it was very helpful. Um, and the combination of us working together got it. So good stuff. Um, <laughs> more you than me. I've been a little distracted lately. Um, so yeah, we got it. Um, 
hopefully that is useful. You know, if you're if you're curious about you know where you can make some substitutions, I would say that other than the fact that his leader skill is there, Dwayne is probably the most replaceable unit on the party. Um, so if you don't have Dwayne, you know, another extreme Nova person, um, a good ex a good option would probably be somebody like um, Olive because she can do extreme Nova on on burst turns. Um, she can do self killer buffs. Um, you know, she would be a good one. She can also fill morale, so that's a, probably a, a good replacement for for uh, for Dwayne, um, and probably would be a little less annoying, honestly. Um, but uh, there you go. Um, or Ibarra, Ibarra could be a nice one if you were going to maybe go with a dark team. Um, you know, flaring Ether Rain could be a good one. You do have to work out how you're going to chain with with Rain because of his um, his LB frames and stuff like that. He's also a trance shifter. Um, which might be a little annoying. He's also a dual wielder, which means he struggles with accuracy, which might be a little annoying, um, but it is an option. Um, there you go. Um, I think though that 2B really, really did a great job. Um, and uh, Abigail tanking it like a boss. I'm, I'm excited to get my Abigail to EX3 in a couple days um, with, the, with the Fragment Dungeon. Um, and maybe I can try and change some teams up at, at that point. Uh, maybe do another clear. Um, but for now, this is the one that I that I end up working out. I'm I'm sad that I didn't end up doing the Sakura thing. I I, I want to do the Sakura thing, um, but again, EX levels really limit that because my Sakura is EX two. Um, but but I wanted to try and do something with that Imperial field. Um, now that I understand the fight a little better, I might be able to do that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go. Um, and you guys be good to each other. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully that helped.